It was early morning. One of my friends was a local gunsmith, and he handed out firearms to anybody who'd take one. You see, the dogs got it in their heads to rob two banks at the same time. Two banks on the same damn street. Well, the locals recognized the Daltons right off. Before they could get away, half the town took up arms to defend their property. The brothers paid dearly for their stupidity. But everybody knows they had it coming. There's more to it than that. I read all about that day, so I know for a fact that it went down very differently. First of all, it was high noon. A posse of U.S. Deputy Marshals were on the rooftop across the street. Get ready, boys. They're gonna make a move. The lawmen had been tracking the Daltons for months, but now they finally had them dead to rights. Among them was a bounty hunter feared by many a lawbreaker. This man had no intention of letting the Daltons slip away. The marshals tried to get the Daltons to surrender. They'll give up eventually. We just gotta wait to suck the bitches out. This bounty hunter knew that the brothers were far too proud to ever lay down their guns. He went in there alone to confront those criminals. One of the marshals shouted, Where are you going? Are you crazy? Hey, where do you think you're going, dumbass? That rifle's mine. But he paid him no mind. He saw a way to get around to the back of the bank. Then he figured out how to hit the Daltons from a direction they weren't expecting. From above. Fortunately, a water tower was right there. A moment later, he was climbing up a steep ladder, laughing at danger as he did. It was brave men like him who risked their lives to tame this wild country. men like him. He did what other men couldn't or wouldn't to make this country free. Like Jim Bowie, Is David that Crockett, Silas Greaves? Died to send a hell of bitch! Yeah, you know you can't beat me. Pissing me off! You're a goner! Over there! Uh, that's Silas Greaves! What the hell? Blanche! Uh, Blanche! He came away victorious! Taking down those thieving dogs. His name is Silas Greaves. And when the dust finally settled, he was the last man standing. Sorry, kid, but that just wasn't the way it happened. It was early evening, not high noon. The Daltons blew up a safe, and were all set to hightail it out of there. Those pathetic deputies surrounding the bank were dropping like flies. I had been tracking those jokers for months, waiting for them to do something reckless. 
those stupid bastards decided to rob two banks at the same time in the same town where everybody knew them. But they still had friends in Coffeeville. Hoist your bullets! Go ahead! Those friends came after me like a pack of wild dogs, tooth and nail. They were coming at me from all directions. I caught sight of the Daltons running with the money and didn't want to lose them. The problem was, they knew the town better than I did. And to top Get it off, boys. I found Shoot myself in the middle of another they shootout entirely. Did the Daltons pull up in somebody's house? Yeah, no, are. it was the uh, Smiths, I believe. Yeah. They were cousins of the Daltons. And they were shooting at the Browns, who were shooting at the Daltons. Which wasn't any surprise, because those two families have been feuding forever. And since the Joneses are related to the Browns, they shot at the Smiths. Pissing off the Heimhoffers, whose daughter recently married a Smith. Well, bullets were flying every which way as all the old feuds in Kansas caught fire all at once. There was a hell of a lot of pissed off people in Coffeeville that day. But that's just the way life is sometimes. Shit happens. Dalton boys knew I would never give up. Those Daltons weren't the sharpest knives in the drawer, but they always stood together. They set a trap to slow me down and allow at least two of them to escape. The third brother stayed behind to plant me, just in case that trap of theirs didn't work. Emma, the youngest, and he decided to stand his ground and face me down. I ain't afraid of you. Gonna send you to the bone orchard. Emmett Dalton survived the robbery in Coffeeville. He's the only Dalton who did. They say he was shot 23 times. Well, Dwight, who do you think put all those damn holes in him? But I have to admit, that boy had grit.